Yeah. Back. Back. Back with another freaking video, man. Hey. Yeah. You know what it is. So we got Jesse Lee Peterson. So and I guess this woman enjoys being being a victim. So well, let's hear what she got to say. She I'm enjoying, interested. She enjoys she enjoys saying the narrative that's just being passed. Um, let's hear this. Let's hear it. Let's hear it. And where's the proof of that? All around. You know, I tell people often now, in hindsight, um, one of the things that I wish I would have been more cognizant of was the white privilege at UCLA that was sitting, you know, right next to me. For black people, I believe white privilege is something to, to leverage. Um, what is it, though? I, I don't see it anywhere. What is it? For people like me privilege. who don't see it, how do you not? What? How do you not see white privilege? Because it doesn't exist. That's yes, what it does. There's so some, what there's is some it exactly? I believe white privilege, or is just the ability just to be free and white and not have the same type of social economic uh, and social ills as black people have to deal with. I mean, there's there's no. Uh, white racial profiling. White people don't get pulled over by the cops just because they're white. Um, they have the ability to, um, you know, show emotion and and love to their sons without being emasculated. Uh, th there's all kind of examples That's of white privilege. That you Absolutely. Believe that. Why don't you? You black. How come you don't believe white privilege exists? What you see? Well, because I, I, you know, I am black in color, but I don't have that dark mentality that most black people have. Clearly. Ooh, he said, I don't have that dark mentality. However. Yikes. I do believe white privilege exists. I do. Or like more white favoritism. Okay. Favoritism. Call it. You know, we, I mean, if we really did an extensive research and not to say that the same things that happen to black people, some of the same things that happen to black people happen to white people. You know, it can, we can say that many instances happen to all races. Yet the media portrays the slant on news when it comes to black people different. That's the reason that one one of the reasons why I chose not to go into news broadcasting and all that good old stuff was because of what as as I got to learn about media and law and all that stuff, it kind of gave me a, a distaste for it. Well, I'm gonna say for me, I kind of I agree with what he's saying because I have made it into positions that oh or made it into spaces that. Oh, well, because I'm, um, I can't, if I would hold in that same narrative, then I probably wouldn't be in. I was the very f first African American person, IT person, in, um, in this, the, the, the department, the school that I work for, IT, the first African American I, um, IT person in the school I work for in UCI. So okay. I don't know, I can't really hold that narrative. I've never had anybody else of color trying to hold me back. I mean, a white person trying to hold me back. I've never, I don't have, I don't share that. I mean, statistically, we would never know. I mean, I've worked at corporate America, IBM. You don't get no more corporate than that growing, you know, as I was in school. So undergrad, I've worked for several corporate companies that were, you know, owned by, you know, white people. I didn't have the mindset of a oh, white privilege or me being, having, you know, um, racism, uh, portrayed against me, you know, okay. I dealt with situations as they come. If I felt like I was treated unfairly across the board, no matter where I worked, I'm going to speak up for myself, whether it was education, you know, whether it was corporate America, mm -hmm. regardless, I was going to speak for myself, but I still do feel though that there is a difference. And when it comes to treatment okay. across the board, now, okay. fact-wise, I don't have any facts that I can just pull up, you know, other than what's being reported. But I'm sure that I can find fact find and find some facts. Gotcha. I see, she said clearly, mm -hmm. I see that uh, white people have the same struggles and things that we have in that. What type uh, of struggles they have? To do make they have? their marriages work. 
They have to uh, make their children, help their kids grow up in the right way so that they can earn a living and be independent. But they also have the majority they of their fathers their kids, at home. Right. And the reason for that is starting to change somewhat now. But the reason for that is because they are taking responsibility for that. Whereas black men and women are not taking responsibility for that as they did prior to the civil rights movement. Black people are blaming it on their lack of self-control and self-containment. They're blaming it on white people while white people are working hard to keep it going. I do for believe that there is a need for black people to be held more accountable. Yeah. Um, but that doesn't mean that that doesn't excuse racism. That doesn't excuse institutionalized racism. That doesn't excuse. But there's no that, such thing as that. Yes, it's it an is. illusion it made no, up not. by black people no, and their not. leaders. No, it's not. It exists. Well, Sorry. where's the proof of it, though? I mean, where's the proof of it? There are many kids who are getting into, black kids who are uh, allowed to get into these universities around the country, right, based on affirmative action, and uh, because of affirmative action based on their color. That's discrimination based on color, and that's wrong. And I these am, kids are getting in, but they're not earning their way. I, so they, when they fail, they feel less than before they were allowed to get in based on color. I'm a proud product of affirmative action. When I went to UCLA, it was because I was an affirmative action student. I'm sorry to hear that. And, and <laughs> I think that turned out fantastic. So, and so a lot of my peers who were having challenges getting into some of these predominantly white institutions, the affirmative action was great. My father went to, to Harvard. You know, I mean, he was one of very few blacks. Was he an affirmative action person? I don't, I don't, don't know if he was, that was back in the, <laughs> Late 60s. Well, then he wasn't. He okay. earned his way. So, that being said, I still believe that affirmative action helped me get into UCLA and it gave me access to You would to not have gotten in there on your own because you were not smart enough? I don't know if I wasn't smart enough, but based on the curve and what I was competing with, with, with you know, other individuals who had different ec um, educational opportunities and teachers. I mean, I'm coming from you know, the LA Unified School District. I mean, so at the time, I think LAUSD was still pretty good. But I went to all white schools um, from high school so up to So you got college. a good education. Why couldn't you get into the school based on your own talent? Um, I don't know. Maybe because I didn't have some of the opportunity. Because but you first had of all, the opportunity. No, well, first of all, You had the, the same SAT, opportunity those white kids were having. Not necessarily. I had different teachers. I had different resources. So you resources. went to a white integrated school. I'm talking about going white. into these other, uh, into UCLA. I still had to do, be able to deal with some of the issues and going to predominantly white schools. Like but what? I still had to be able to compete. Like what? What do you mean like what? The, some of the issues going to a predominantly white. I went white. to, when I went to, uh, I would graduate from university high school and at the time they didn't have an African American student union. Uh, we- An African American student union? Mm -hmm, at the school. Well, that's a good thing. They didn't have one. That's a good thing. Why? Why do you need something like that? They, well, they have Asian student unions. They have Jewish student unions. They did, have all kind of different. Did they have student white unions. student union? They need student union. They ho they own the whole school. So, <laughs> but the kids <laughs> didn't own the school. The kids. But I'm that. saying there's nothing. I don't think there's nothing wrong it's with having a segregated, uh, you know, population of students who just want to uh, study together, or work together, or to be able would to. Would you deal be with in support of a white student union? Yeah, of course. It would be okay with you. Yeah, why oh, not? Yeah. But most blacks don't feel that way. I think all cultures should be able to, to segregate and to be able to work within their cultures and network within their own cultures, absolutely. Does racism exist? I believe racism does exist. And absolutely. where's the proof of that? You just see it all over in the country, the proof of it. What, of just the, what, what the do I see? Disproportion in the economics with black people. But that has nothing to do with racism. It does. Racism is about power. It's about who is in control. And black people can't be racist because we're not in control. We're not in control of the educational system, the some of the social uh, organizations and things that run this country. We're not in control. Racism about power. But you would what be in control, in control of your own life if you had good parents, if they taught you how to be independent, if they taught you how to build, how to take care of. I've noticed that the reason I left where I lived over there in the Crenshaw district is that once the white people left, because once I moved there, when I first moved there, were mostly whites. But once they left, as they did in Gary, Indiana, and other places, the blacks turned it into a ghetto. A beautiful area went to hell in a handbasket, so I got out. But if blacks had more character and they were taking care of themselves and being responsible and buying land and 
teaching their but that children. But has to be taught. That right, has, that, so that, that has, has nothing to, be, to do with racism. But that has to, that, of course, that has to be taught. So it's not racist, it's not white people's fault that you're not teaching your children to do that. No, but, but it's not, if that the true? parents don't know. They if don't the parents, know, if so, but that's if, not if white people's fault, know, though. It, but if they go into some of these institutions, these predominantly white institutions, they are targeted. They don't have the same opportunities because of their color. They, it's true. I mean, so I've then been, why go in there? Then why not go to all black school? If right. you some people do choose to do that. I'm sorry. Some people do choose. That's well, why they, they, I, you see a lot of these black kids going to uh, these white universities, and then they they force their way in by saying, "I need affirmative action." Once they get in, now they cry racism. Why do you want to force your way in with the people you think are your enemies? And you're still complaining once you get there. I don't think people are forcing their way. I don't. Does they affirmative, are. affirmative action, action even exist? Is forced now? based on color. Does, but does affirmative action even exist? Are people getting in based on affirmative action? Yes. Today, otherwise I mean, they wouldn't be there. It, it, the way Trump has it down, he's just leveled the playing field. So it is going to have to be more about being able to be competitive. Hallelujah. So uh, I hear some of her claims, but she doesn't have any facts, and that's no, what I don't like. That's, when that's, people that's talk. You need to give me some resources. You need yeah. to have some statistics where you can back up what you say. Yeah. You know, and then once you once your claims have been substantiated, you know, then somebody will take you a little bit more seriously. But you just giving fluff of stuff same, you've heard the same old or stuff? stuff that you've read here and there. That's the same old stuff we've been through. Seen on the news. But yet you still have no solid facts, you know. We're um, back at that. Now we're back yeah. at the same thing. She just was not nice and soft about it. And where somebody else might be all in, super emotional. So that just, it just keeps proving the fact that what's the proof in it? We just have all this feeling and we have all this talking to other people about what this is and having that feeling and just passing it on and passing it on. But we, what if we were to come to facts and it's not really what we walk around holding in? I just don't believe that in 2022 that a claims of racism is going to determine someone else's level exactly. of success. It's exactly. just too many ways oh, exactly. to be successful. It's too many black multimillionaires and billionaires now. So how did they make it? And I don't hear none of them how talking like that. How did they get there? Well, I don't know. Some of them. How did they get there? What did they do? They right. didn't do it alone. No. So a few of them have been born into it, and many of them have not. True. Many of them have not. So how do you explain that you can't. if there's no level playing field? All right. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't take a nose dive, but comment in the section below, man. We'll see you if you want some more. Yeah. I appreciate y'all. Yeah.